It's time to upgrade your webcam. If you're like me, you spend a ton of time on Zoom calls, Google Meet, maybe even doing some live streaming. And I'm carrying around this old MacBook from 2016. The camera on that, this is not the most amazing. And so what I'm gonna show you how to do today is how to get the most out of the current webcam that you're using. Also show you a bunch of different options, some of which are free and some of them have some cost to it from using the cell phone that you already have, maybe a webcam like this one from Logitech or using a camera like I use for all of my YouTube videos, the Sony A6600. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, so here I'm recording with the webcam. What I'm using right now is a software called StreamYard. It's what we use to do all of our lives for YouTube or anywhere else. Definitely recommended. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link down below in the description. It is our affiliate link, so if you click on it, make a purchase, we could earn a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. There is a free plan, so definitely worth checking out. With that said, what you can see right now is the webcam isn't doing all that well. The thing is, it needs much more light. You can see this is really, really dark. If you see my Sony camera with the Sigma lens on it, there's plenty of light for the settings that it has right now. This is a much bigger sensor for the camera. This is a small sensor for the webcam, so you can see it's gonna need some more light for this to look good. So what I wanted to start out with is showing you two things that you can do to improve the webcam that you're currently using. The first thing you can do that's really, really easy is get this up at eye level. So I have the laptop on the desk right now. You can see this is looking down the lens, this is at eye level. So this looks much better. This looks kind of awkward. There's a lot of options. We have this box that I think will help. Probably needs to be even higher than that. But, you know, it's at least a good start. So you can see this is a little bit below the camera right now, but this already looks much, much better. So whatever you're using, wherever the camera is, it's probably way too low. Get up closer to eye level and immediately looking a little bit better. Okay, so now that we have it closer to eye level, the next thing to talk about is the lighting. So you can tell with the camera, lighting is good enough. There's a bigger sensor and a lens that lets in tons of light. This tiny little sensor from the webcam, not enough light. The good thing is we have this big aperture light um, that I can turn up the intensity on to have the webcam look a lot better. So you can see maybe something like that. Obviously, I'm not gonna adjust the settings on the camera right now. This is way too overexposed, but you can see if you have enough light, even with a small sensor, it's gonna look much, much better. So the thing is you don't need a huge light source like this to have good looking videos. The thing is there's a bunch of kind of compact options that you could throw in your bag, kind of put up on top of your laptop, take with you everywhere. This is not the most portable setup. But if I go over by the window right now, you're gonna see with no artificial light that the video looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm right in front of the window. So no artificial light, just the sunlight coming in from the window. It's kind of a cloudy day right now to let you see kind of what it looks like that's kind of view that I have right now. So, hey, the webcam you have, natural sunlight, good to go. So as you just saw, by getting your camera up at eye level and by using good lighting, your videos are gonna look a ton better. The next two options we're gonna talk about are using something that you're carrying around with you day in and day out, which is your cell phone. So there's two different apps that you can download for your phone, one of which is free, the other is paid, but chances are your cell phone has a much better camera than your computer does. Here's what it looks like using the Iroon webcam app. So this is the free app that I was talking about just a second ago. The thing is with this app, you're connected through Wi-Fi. So if you have a solid Wi-Fi connection, the video is gonna look really, really good. The thing is here, if you don't have stable internet, so I was using this when I was home in Michigan where the router was, I was in the basement and it was on the second floor and the Wi-Fi wasn't great for my phone, so I was getting a bit of lag. So I would turn or move or do something and what I would see on my computer is that action would happen a few seconds later. There's pretty solid Wi-Fi right now, so the video looks pretty good. So the second app that you can use to connect your camera to your computer and use it as a webcam is the Apple Cam app. The reason I like this app so much is that you can connect your phone to your computer using a cable as, as opposed to relying on Wi-Fi. So to have your phone connect to the Wi-Fi, sending the camera signal to your computer, which is then sending it to your Zoom call or whatever it is, isn't gonna be quite as stable, especially if you don't have the world's greatest internet, as opposed to just connecting the camera the phone right here to the computer, you end up having better camera quality. So here's what it looks like with the Apple Cam app right now. How does this look? The other advantage to using your phone is a lot of phones now have several different cameras. So the thing is right now, you're seeing me on kind of the normal back camera of my iPhone 12 mini. The thing is, let's see if I grab this right now. 
So there's a couple of options. So I could go to 0.5. So you can see I have a much wider view of the shot right now. Or the thing is right now, I could also turn the camera around and use the, the frontal camera as well. So now I can see myself on my phone as I'm recording, or we can turn this around and use the rear facing lenses, which are generally better. So when I first started using this app, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to connect the cable to the computer and use that as a webcam with the free version. And so that was the reason I paid for the pro version, which is $799. And so for me, investing $799, if you have a pretty decent cell phone, you're gonna have an amazing camera for your webcam for $799, which is gonna be more expensive than the other options that we're talking about today. So the next option is a webcam like this one from Logitech. You can pick up something like this for less than $100, doesn't require batteries, you can be using your cell phone while you're on a call. So having something like this can be really, really great. So right now I'm gonna put it on top of my switch pod. So it's a little bit up above where my laptop is right now. You can see the camera looks okay right now, but again, needs a little bit more light than my camera does, so let's bump that up some. So here's what the Logitech webcam looks like. So the other good thing with this is the webcam comes with a built-in microphone. So there's a good chance it's better than the microphone with your laptop. So you have the camera fairly close to you and also picking up good audio quality at the same time. So a webcam like this, obviously you can put it on a little tripod or if you have a larger monitor, it'll mount nicely on top of it. So we're now using my Sony camera as a webcam. There's two different ways you can connect your camera to your computer and use it like so. The first way, the free way, is to use the software from your camera manufacturer. So Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, all have software allowing you to connect the two for free using a USB cable and the software on your computer. The picture looks pretty good compared to all the previous options, but the resolution isn't perfect. So here's the resolution for the Sony app. Here's what it looks like for Canon, probably similar for Nikon and Fuji. But compared to the other options, it looks pretty good, right? If you're interested in checking this out, I'll put links to all the different software down below in the description. If you'd like to use 1080p or 4K, what you're gonna need is one of these, which is a capture card. Why don't we plug this in? Here we are using the Sony camera with the capture card now. Do you notice a little bit of a difference with the resolution? So in this video, we went through a whole bunch of ways that you can improve your video calls and live streams. You can get your camera up higher, use better lighting, use a webcam, your phone, or a camera like this one. What are you gonna do to improve your webcam and your video calls? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you wanna learn more about how you can improve your videos, we have a whole bunch of videos to help you with that. I'll link to the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.